Hey, what is going on guys? Rudalinel here, coming back at you with some more Python tutorials, and we're still looking at the Unicurses library and module. So, in the last couple of videos we've been playing with color, or at least testing whether or not our terminal has support for color, we've been looking at panels, we've been looking at windows, and that sort of thing, and we're really kind of ready to jump into some more stuff. And I, I say that all the time, but for now I think we're really going to prepare our environment to be able to work in new things. So, I'm going to get uh, my terminal open up, and I'm going to create a new directory, and inside that directory we're going to keep track of every function and sort of like everything that we really make. So I'm going to make directory and I'll call mine unicurses, change directory into there, and I'm going to create a new script, or at least I'll, I'll save this one, save what I have here now, under unicurses, and I think I'm going to call this functions, dot python of course. Okay, so I'm going to Remove all this. The only thing that we actually need is the Unicurses include line. And what I'm going to do is actually set up a function that will allow us to work with our colors. Because typically, when we're working with our, our colors anyway, we have um, this limit to what we can do, to what we can use, remember, because they have an identification number. It's typically, when we write the function initialize pair, we'll have a, a number and then the color that we want to set up here, foreground and background. So, this number in the front here, that identification number, always has to be different every time we want to create a new color, or a different pair. So, to make things easy, we should just kind of create a function that allows us to do this as many times as we need to, so we don't have to set this up. So, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to create a new function, and um, first we need to keep track of the current, of the current number that we have of the colors that we've created. So, this is going to be, in our case, a global color number. And that's going to equal 1, because that's what we're going to start at. So now I'm going to create a new function. I'll call mine just make color. We'll need a foreground, and we'll need a background. And we're going to be using this this uh, global color number, remember, so we have to reference that as a global variable inside the function. And we're going to actually go ahead and set a variable that we're going to keep track of called the color number, and that's going to be the global color number or whatever it is before we've called this function, because we're going to have to update it once we create a new color. And then we're going to initialize the pair, or actually create the color and end curses with that color number, with the foreground that we specified, and with the background that we specified. Now we just add one to the global color number, Yeah, jeez, I cannot type. And then we're going to give back to the user the color number that we've already set up. So this is very easy, it's very simple. All it does is just create colors for us like on the fly, and we don't have to worry about that stupid identification number. So now, if I were to actually, I'll get up the function, or at least the script that we created earlier. I think it was first 01 Python, right, right, right. And um, I'll go ahead and save this as inside of our Unicurses directory, main.python. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and import the functions that we've set up. And I can say red, that's going to equal make color. And we'll say that's color red, color black for the background. And we'll go ahead and add a string to our standard screen. Um, this is in red. And remember, we can index that with our color pair, but instead of the number, we can pass in what we've already set it up to be, so red. All right, now if I get my terminal open, I am in Unicurses. I can see the main function there or at least our main script, I'll make that executable and go ahead and run it. Oh, make color is not defined. Okay, where is our functions? Functions.python, define make color. What's the problem here? Oh, I see, we have to actually set it up to, so we can import everything from the function, so. Because if we, if we import it this way, we have to have that functions dot selector. So I'm just going to say from functions import everything. And now we can we should be able to run this without a problem. Good. Now we can see this is in red right up here at the top there. 
Okay, so that, that file for us, that, that functions.python, that's going to equal anything else that we set up um, that we want to actually keep track of or use inside of our game or whatever it is that, that we're working with in NCurse. So having this folder set up for us and having this, we can very easily add to this. It's extensible, and we've already got one set up by able to keep track of our colors. Okay, thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll be getting into some really cool stuff very soon. Talk to you later.